A number of interesting trades that are happening through the Asian time zone today. We're seeing dollar yen moving up quite markedly higher. Up on the session, it's up 1.5%. We're seeing good flows into the dollar again uh, all round. We're tending to see a, a nice breakout on the US dollar basket. We've broken out of a, a wedge consolidation pattern. I think that potentially holds further upside for the US dollar. And I think if we do see further upside for the US dollar, it can be a big headwind for global markets. Depending on the speed and the aggression of the upside will determine on financial conditions. And I think you know, that could really depend on, on how much weaker we do see commodity prices, oil, iron ore, and base metals, for example. And then subsequently, I think we really need to keep our eye on credit spreads. If we see credit spreads really widening from where they are at the moment, then I think equity markets will see good downside. But for now, we're seeing good inflows into dollar yen. That's having a very positive impact on the Nikkei, as you probably imagine. We're seeing the Nikkei up over 2%. Uh, rest of Asian markets fairly subdued on the day, and I think that's that's very interesting. You know, you've got the ASX flat, the Chinese equity market flat. We are seeing um, iron ore and rebar prices under pressure, but most of those selling came through in the night session during Asian time zone today. They're pretty flat from where they reopened today. So we are seeing a little bit of buying coming through in the Aussie dollar on the fail through to to see the follow through selling in the iron ore price. But there, but yeah, looking at the trend in iron ore. Um, and, and rebar, it's certainly down. I think people will be looking to sell rallies in both Aussie dollar and, and some of these future products at the moment, the volatility is such. But generally, what well, the, the, the asset you want to look at today is very much Japan, Nikkei, and dollar yen having a nice move up. The rest of the uh, equity market's fairly subdued on the day, and I think that's really just everyone centering their attention on that Japanese equity market.